Today I'm going to show you how to set up multiple audio tracks on OBS. Now I'm going to put some of my related tutorials in the video description because I'm not going to be going over my OBS settings in this video, I'm just going to show you how to set up multiple audio tracks. Now if you don't know what multiple audio tracks are, basically it lets you record different audio devices separately. So in most cases when people are recording gameplay footage, they'll have one audio track with their microphone in it and one audio track with the game sounds in it. For example, so typically if people are recording gameplay footage, Footage, usually they'll have their microphone in one audio track and their game sounds or headphones in another audio track. Now what this will do is allow you to edit your audio separately. For example, if something really loud happens in your game and you don't want it to be so loud in your video because you can't hear the microphone, then you can just lower the volume of the game and your microphone can stay the same. So you don't have to adjust your microphone when you adjust your game. But if you only have one audio track and lower the volume, it will also lower the volume of your microphone. Now what this looks like in popular video editors is in Vegas it looks like this so as you see when you import the file you have the video track up here this is the video then you have your audio 1 which is for me my uh, game sounds and audio 2 which is my microphone in Premiere Pro it looks like this track is um, my video track this is my first audio track which is my game sounds again and this is my microphone now if you want to separate it even further if you're on Skype with your friends, you can also put Skype even in another audio track. However, to do that you will need to install virtual audio cables and do a whole bunch of audio configuration, and I will show you how to do that in another video. Now currently in OBS you can have up to six audio tracks, however you can only have five audio devices, but most people aren't going to use that many anyway. For example, I only use two. So before we set up our audio tracks there are some things we have to do. So you're going to go into your settings, and on the output tab, you have to use advanced output mode. You cannot record multiple audio tracks in simple output mode, you have to use advanced. So make sure that is selected. Next you're going to want to go into your audio tab and you're just going to want to make sure all the devices you want to record are also selected. Like I said you can have up to five devices, two desktop audio devices, and three microphones. So as you can see here I have my microphone selected and here I have my headphones selected. Next we're going to want to go into our advanced audio properties. So you can do that by going to your audio mixer which is right here on the main screen and you're going to hit click the gear next to where it says mixer and it opens up your advanced audio properties. Now this window is very helpful, there are some great settings that you can adjust here and uh, you can view which device you're looking at on the left. Now it doesn't say the device's name, it just says which order it's in. So this is my microphone one, my desktop audio device one. And if I had another desktop audio device, it would appear as desktop audio device 2. If I had another microphone, it would appear as microphone 2. So just make sure you know which device is which. Now what we need to use here is the tracks over here on the right. As you can see, we have up to six tracks. Now you can record whichever tracks you want, so you don't have to record all six. You don't have to record the first few if you're only going to record the first few. You can record which ones you want, and I will show you how to set, set that in a minute. But what we need to set first is which audio device appears in which track. So as you can see, I currently have mine set up, so the first track records both devices, so I can use this for like streaming, because if you're using simple output mode, it only uses the first audio track and you can't change that. So if you're using simple output mode in another profile, then you probably will want to go and select all the devices on that because you won't be able to choose anything but audio track one. And then for recording, I uh, have my desktop audio device in track two and my microphone in track three. So basically, if it's checked, it's going to record in that audio track. If it's not checked, it won't. So as you can see, audio track four, five, and six for me are completely empty since no devices are checked. Audio track three, just my microphone is going to record in that track since it's the only device that's checked. My desktop audio device is not checked, so it will not appear. However, in audio track two, I have it at the exact opposite, so my microphone will not record there, but my desktop audio device will. So if you have more devices, you can also select which device is there. So if you want two devices to appear in one audio track and then one to appear in another, you can easily do that by just selecting two in the same audio track and using that audio track. If you have three devices and want to put them all in different audio tracks, you can easily do that by putting one in two, one in three, and one in four. Okay, so once you're done configuring that to the way you like, you're going to want to know which audio tracks you want to record. So I want to record audio tracks two and three. Two is going to be my desktop audio, and three is going to be my microphone audio. I don't have any use of recording one, since that would just be them both together, and since I'm recording them separately, I don't need them both together. Now keep in mind, if you accidentally do record 
extra audio tracks, you can easily delete them in video editing. So if you're really confused and select extra audio tracks, don't worry, you can fix it in video editing by just simply deleting the audio track. So that's all we have to do here. Now we're going to go back into our output settings. Now if you're streaming, now I don't have my streaming settings set up here because I just use this profile for recording. But if you were streaming, you can select which audio track you want to stream to. But again, you can only do this in advanced output mode. In simple output mode, you don't have a choice and it only uses track one. And also for streaming, you can only stream to one audio track, obviously, because it's a live stream and there's no point in having separate audio tracks. So you will have to go and put all the devices you want to stream with into one audio track and then select that one here. Now anyway, for recording, you're going to want to go here and the audio track you select is here. So if you remember, I have my desktop audio device in track two and my microphone in track three. So I just want to select those two tracks and I don't want any of these other tracks selected and we're good. So you're just going to hit apply and okay. Also note that in the audio tab here, you have to select the bit rate of each audio track separately. So just make sure you're not recording to too low of an audio bit rate because then it will sound bad. I record to 192 and I find that's great for YouTube. You can record up to 320 here. Now the file size will be slightly larger but you probably won't notice it, especially when you're recording with my settings in high definition and high quality. But I just recommend setting it to 192 anyway since that's what I export my videos in. Now note for streaming, if you're using one of these tracks to stream, like let's say I was using audio track one to stream, now some streaming services only allow 128 audio bit rate or 160. Now you can run into some issues if you're trying to stream with a bit rate of 192. Now what you can also do is actually name your tracks here. So if I want to name mine game sounds and I want to name this one to microphone, I can easily do that. So that's helpful just to keep your tracks a bit more organized. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for tutorials, suggest them in the comments below. Anyway, other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.